My name is Nell Painter, and I received my um, MFA last June from the Rhode Island School of Design, so I don't have an illustrious history like my colleagues of showing my work. So um, what I wanted to do was talk to you some um, about what's been happening between um, my MFA show and the work that I've been doing here at a Pharaoh. Wait a minute. Okay. Um, because being here at Afero and the space and the time really has um, changed uh, my painting. So we're starting here with the one of the first paintings I did in the way that I work now, which is digital plus manual. So um, the digital part is uh, of photoshopped um, edit images edited out of photographs. Um, through Photoshop, and then I paint on them. So this was one of the very earliest ones. It's from the summer of 2010. Next one. This is my studio at RISD, and what you see here is um, the wall that had about 100 photos of the archive of historical photos that's the basis. Um, it was only to be the basis of my MFA show, but it hasn't let up, so it's still with me. So this is sort of the beginning of the, um, the Brooklyn paintings. This is two of the earliest, and these images are in chronological order. I used to be a historian. So um, these were in a show uh, at Mixed Greens uh, during the past summer. So these are two of the early ones. They're called um, Meaning of Life, Meaning of Life April and Meaning of Life. Next one. Um, this one is called Design Center. So this is also one of the Brooklyn paintings. Next one. Um, this is Second Man Walled and Windowed, also one of the Brooklyn paintings. And you probably can't see, but that little bit there is uh, an actual quotation from the original photograph. So you can see why the man is called the second man because he's the second man in the photograph. Next one. Um, this is now a um, diptych. It used to not be a diptych, but Glenn, my husband for the open studios, put these two together. And people who've come through have said, hey, that really works. So this is now the uh, black helicopters diptych. This is 72 tall and 72 wide. Next. Um, this is one of three, um, which are the Trompeter, and it's a Trompeter in German because when I made these paintings, I was working on my MFA thesis, which has Daniel Richter in it, and of course, Daniel Richter does uh, Abstractes Bild, so of course, I had to title these in German. Next. This is the, my last RISD painting. And this is called Back Man One, because the man has his back to you. So this was to be the beginning of the last series. So each of these series has about three paintings in it. So this one, uh, at RISD, I only did the one. So it was to be the beginning of Back Man. So when I came here, and I have this wonderful big studio upstairs. Next, please. Um, I could stretch out, actually, um, uh, what was to be a triptych, 72 by 36, 36 by 36, 72 by 36. This is the middle one, 36 by 36. And you see Bachman there, but here Cook has come in. But what happened here is, if you can go back to the highly colored one before, yeah. This was my palette in the spring. But what happened, and then what happened here was I put up um, my stretchers and I started the process of projecting the photoshopped image onto the canvas. And then um, I went to Britain. I was a Fulbright lecturer uh, in October. And when I came back, the painting started talking, not just talking to me, talking back. And they said, we don't want all that color. 
We want to be grisaille. So uh, the first one I made, I said, okay, I'm listening to you, I'm listening to you. And this is one thing I'm learning as an artist, to listen to my eyes. Um, so I was listening to my eyes, but I wasn't listening enough. And I put some color in, and the more I worked on the painting, the worse it got. Finally, I just took it off the stretcher bars and I've been erasing it. This is not that one. I think this one is okay to show you. And then the next one, which is the last one, this is, I'm being true here to the grisaille. This painting is not finished, but at least you can see that it's going to be grisaille and it's going to stay, um, it's going to stay with this very reduced palette some of the grays are a little warm. Uh, it's really uh, carbon black. So um, this is a pharaoh's mark on my painting. <laughs>